Hello guys, how you doing today? So many people have asked us what style of dome are we using and selling and uh, why? And uh, so today I thought I'd cover what the different styles of domes are that people use uh, to live in and use for entertainment, greenhouses, events, uh, sporting events and those types of things. And it's different across the board if you take a look at it. And uh, the truth is, there's no right or wrong answer to it, uh, though they both have their advantages. Both. There's a couple of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So uh, the first and most famous is called a geodesic dome. It's only famous because a guy named Bucky Fuller, Buckminster Fuller, uh, came up with this design uh, back in the 50s and 60s. And since then, people have used his design pretty extensively. The thing about a geodesic nature is it interlocks triangles uh, and then they keep interlocking. And as they do, somebody wants to say hi. Hello. Um, as they do keep uh, interlocking, it's one of the only structures that as it gets bigger, it actually gets stronger. And that's why a lot of companies will use the geodesic dome because they can make huge domes out of it. And that's why you see a lot of sporting events using geodesic domes and the geodesic nature. There's another style called an arch dome or a compression dome. Those are the old styles that you'll see that are rocks just placed upon one another. And as it gets to the top, it holds itself and it's called compression. So that top archway holds all that compression down and those dome structures can stay alive for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of years. And you'll see evidence of that uh, in Egypt and Tunisia and a bunch of other places. And then the third main style is called ribbed, which is the style that we've gone with. Ribbed uses a structure, much like what you see behind me, lines that go up this way. And as it goes up, they put rings in there, just in a couple spots, and the rings get put in to be compression rings to push down. And so you'll see this in a lot of also really old architecture style. This is before Bucky Fuller came up with the geo nature. And these rib style domes are just as old, just as strong. So when it comes to all three styles, I don't think there's a right or wrong. Uh, I will say though, the arch styles that were built back in the day, those have been shown to be the strongest and longest lasting, primarily because they were using concrete and not mm -hmm. wood uh, or steel. And that concrete uh, lasted, has lasted all that while. So, again, we're using the rib style in uh, Gaia Dome Solutions. And that style has allowed us to create a thickness in the walls to stuff in hempcrete or wood wool uh, like you would uh, in a house trying to stack fiberglass. Uh, but for us, because we want to be more bio-friendly, we want to be more uh, centered around the earth. Uh, we want to be more eco-friendly. We want to be more healthy. We want to be more conscious. We are going to use hempcrete in our domes that we buy and sell. Uh, if people don't want hemp, then we can also use the wood wool, which will be just as economical and uh, eco-friendly. So... That's our story, guys. That's the styles of domes and why we're using ours is because it comes natural with the thickness that I can stuff the hemp inside there and get the hemp that I need because I need to be able to breathe better because hemp as your wall and your insulation source will allow your house to breathe and there will be no mold ever coming into there. Hemp also does not burn. So your house technically can't burn uh, when it's a hemp house. Now you can make this hemp house, you can make it to where it looks totally like a what's called a monolithic dome. 
It's another structure out there. It's where they do air forms, and then they spray concrete around the air form. Uh, and then it just looks like a big pile of concrete. You can do that with hempcrete and make it look like a, uh, a hemp dome and then surround it in a lime base. And then that will uh, harden it. Uh, so then you don't have to put anything on the outside. And then rain can hit it, snow can hit it, and it'd be just as strong as asphalt shingles, as siding, and that type of thing. We are going to make our home dome home look more like a home and we're going to put shingles on the outside and we're going to put some rock uh, to make it look more aesthetically pleasing but on the inside we're actually going to leave a lot of the space open to the hemp because hemp is actually beautiful in nature and you can actually what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called hemp waves and i'll explain that more later but the wave allows us to color the hemp and it can look like ocean uh, and artwork and so that's our story with our ribbed domes that we're selling with Gaia Dome Solutions and they will be just as long lasting as just as strong as the geodesic domes though if I were going to go to a dome that was 80 foot I probably would want a uh, geodesic nature uh, as opposed to the ribbed nature, even though in the past you can see. Now, before I let you go, I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to show you these dome styles, so I'm glad you stayed with me. So uh, here we go. Here's a geodesic style dome. So here's your first picture. So uh, some famous geodesic domes are the Eden Project, the Epcot Center, Spaceship Earth, uh, Bioship and BioEarth, those all did geodesic domes. Now the next pictures are going to be rib domes from the past. And that's like St. Peter's Basilica, Cathedral of Santa Maria in Florence, Italy. Uh, the Reichstag and building in Berlin. Great Mosque in Tunisia. Uh, the BB Mosque in um, Uzbekistan. Those were all rib styles, and those are the pictures that I just showed you. So you can see, now here's the last ones. Uh, these are from the ancient world, and these pictures are actually of um, uh, different sites uh, that you're just going to recognize automatically. So I hope you love these guys. Uh, these are the different styles of domes that are out there. And again, we're using rib style domes. And Gaia Dome Solutions, so that way we can employ hempcrete as your main insulation and wall source. Take care, guys. Bye.